projects, Easter inspiration straight from the shelves of the dollar store. Designer Christine McKay took our dollar store dare and transformed everyday treasure into Easter spectacular. These are some fun projects. You know, I am a fan of the dollar store, and I think the key with the dollar store is you have to hit it often, and when you find something you like, you need to get it because it's probably not going to be there again. So I, I love the dollar store. The first thing I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit is what I call toppers. So this little section right here is toppers. And what I mean by that is they're great little pieces that you can add to just so many different crafts. I was going to say, what would you do with Yeah, what do you top that with? I know, you know, I know, I know. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You really, Christine, really, really, really have to think outside I the mean, box. I mean, really? I know. Isn't it hideous? And like I've always, the, the more hideous sometimes, the better. Because usually, you know, sometimes you can even get it half off at the dollar store. <laughs> no, I actually don't, I don't mind this. like a little chocolate. Chocolate bunny, that's sort of well, well the me, right in the right thing yeah, that could be okay. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. That look like but you're hardly fun. ever gonna find anything that you like as is. And so that's what's really fun because with just a little bit of paint you can dress it up. So let me show you what you can do with some of these toppers. Okay. For instance, this little wreath holder right here on the end. Do you recognize something oh. like this? Lucky here. All I did was I, I painted it, and if you've tipped that upside down, Brooke, there's already a little hole in the bottom, so it was perfect. All I did was stick a dowel in the in the bottom mm -hmm. and attach it to a little a, a circle base, painted it, attached the hook, and there you go. I mean, if you've seen these in, in, in boutiques, they're about forty dollars a piece. I, I made this 40, 50 bucks. for about three dollars. Wow. And you would never $3? know. Three dollars. I made that for three dollars. And it's almost like it was meant to go right in that dowel, like you exactly. said. Exactly. I the dowel Cute. fit in there perfectly with a little bit of hot glue, secured it. So I'm guessing you painted a little white and then just put a little dark paint I and mushed did, in the cracks I did. and stuff. Probably my best tip for antiquing is there's a Ralph Lauren glaze and get it tinted smoke. And then you can and I use that technique a lot on, on, on these projects today because it really gives it a nice antique and it's not too much. look. Sometimes exactly. It, you can go over the top with some so mushing. Another, yeah, that mushing. Another example is this little bunny. He was so sad. He was so hideous. <laughs> I think he had like flowers all over him and it was green. Just painted it white and I affixed it to a candlestick. And this is a good example of when I found these at the dollar store, this was months ago, I bought like 10 of them because it was such a great shape. Um, this is another great shape, but when I went back there to find some more, they were gone. So if you like it, buy it. But that's a great tip. Look for toppers. Look for toppers. So all I did was I just took the basic candlestick the basic dollar bunny. So mm -hmm. this right here, even with the fringe, was probably about $3 for this uh, little bunny pedestal. It's cute. So totally fun. That chocolate bunny down there could use some, some love. I like, I like the it. chocolate bunny better than the white bunny. <laughs> Maybe because it reminds me of the chocolate. I like to eat it. But okay. so we can make it work. <laughs> what else you got, One Christine? of the last toppers that I did is this right here. I haven't adhered it down yet. But same thing. I just took a tacky little bunny, painted it, and then when I get home, I'm going to glue it into the bottom of the, of the bowl to make it a nice little cute. candy dish. So look for toppers or things that you can add to other projects. Okay. Okay, probably one of my favorite projects that I did was these little eggs right here. Um, these the, are cool. the, the jute covered or the bead covered covered balls are really popular in home decor. So I tried to decide that I was going to do it with just some cheap, tacky little, you know, plastic eggs from the dollar store. Okay. And all I did was I just wrapped it with a little bit of hemp. You can buy jute at the dollar store. I tried that first and it didn't hold the paint as well. So I'd recommend that you just go ahead and buy hemp. Um, mm -hmm. And I just wrapped them, spray painted them. And How did them, you glue it? Just as you go? Just, yeah, hot glue. Just as you go, just glue it around, sprayed it with some spray paint put it in a basket that I found at the dollar store and there you go you have a great That's little really cute. basket I actually really like that one a lot that's fun. Okay. Probably one of my my favorites as well is this right here. Because I've actually done, I did something similar for Valentine's on the on one of my pre, previous segments. I remember these things before. Yeah. Like I said, if you see something you How many you of those like, did you buy? I bought like a dozen of them. Because those were a Christmas thing, they right? They were. They were just a cheap little Christmas tree that I got after Christmas for like 50 cents. And what I did is I just spray painted it orange, turned it upside down, and now I have a cute little carrot. And I put some little fringe around the top. So honestly, with everything, that was probably a dollar. The real question is, how many more holidays are we going to see more of these coming out? Every holiday, you're going to come up with something for this? Heck yeah. Okay. It's the challenge that never ends. That's really cute. Fourth of so July, it's going to be like fireworks coming out the oh end. Oh my it's gosh, gonna be... that's a great idea. I want Lady Liberty Torch. Oh my gosh, oh, you got exactly. me going. But look for basic <laughs> shapes. The last thing I wanted to talk about is personalizing, because a dollar store is a great place to get party favors and, um, you know, customized gifts. For... This was just a cute what little bug this? catcher that just came in this. It had a tacky little bee on it. And you can just 
Print out a little label off your computer that has your child's name on it. Attach some ribbons, some flowers. You can customize gifts. You can do cute little party favors. Um, candles right here. I'll let you this. Okay. Just attach a cute little vintage label to it, and it's just a dollar. And just you know, you can use basic supplies that you have from home. Really cute. Tell us about these carrots down front. That's a great oh, party yes. favor as this well. Oh yes. This one I didn't really do a whole lot to. I just found these and I absolutely loved them. I've seen the eggs, but I've never seen carrots. Yes. I thought they were so adorable. So I just added some jelly beans and a cute little tag which you can download at kmkdesigns.com. A little tag to tie under the top. And you have a fun little, uh, a fun little party this favor. Is, this is, candy. Yeah, this is like the equivalent of like the Easter eggs that you fill with candy and hide yeah. on Easter morning. You're doing that with the exactly. little carrots Exactly, so instead. fun. And I forgot to say too that the wreath right here is also all made from items at the dollar store, believe it or not. This right here is normally $5 at the craft store. I got it at the dollar store. For a dollar and I just spray painted some plastic eggs added some moss to it and a ribbon and there you go you have a cute little wreath darling is right some fun trees as well that you I'm yeah, sure some trees for just the same thing just you know 99 cents all I did was spray painted it added some eggs the last the last the last one is I just absolutely love I just bought some basic tacky square picture frames uh -huh. inserted wood wooden dowels on the bottom I got a little piece of, of just plain wood that I drilled them into attached some moss and some little chickies that I already have and now you have like just a really cute little photo stand you're a dollar store diva I love it and, you know you could put the chocolate bunny at the bottom of those too you know you know what? I, I, love I like the chocolate bunny. I'm going to do Let something just for you with the chocolate bunny. <laughs> Where are your favorite dollar store hotspots, by the way? Which my, ones? My favorite ones are um, uh, Fun Finds at Michael's, um, do uh, Dollar Spot at Target, mm -hmm. and then, of course, Dollar Store and Honks 99. By the way, where'd the chocolate bunny come from? Because I'm going and picking him up. Dollar Tree. Dollar okay. Tree. And they actually okay. have real ones that you can eat. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm stopping there. <laughs> Any more questions? That's all. I've got, I've got all my chocolate bunny questions out of the way. Bring it up one more yeah. time. All right, all right. You can get tutorials and downloads for these projects, free downloads on Christine's website, kmkdesigns.com. We'll link you there from our website as well. Thanks, Christine. You're welcome. We'll be